it's Tessie Faye here and today I'm going to be doing a comprehensive review for you on different hijabs, different modest head covering attires, uh, fitness, fitness ones. So we have five different products today that we're going to be trying. They're all different styles, all different levels of modesty. Uh, we created a test where basically it's gonna be a mixture of calisthenics and cardio, you know, to really get it all roughed up to see which one withstands the withholds, withstandings. And then I'm gonna grade them on a matrix that I created for you guys. So it's gonna be based on the price, functionality, level of modesty, and aesthetics, you know, fashion, fashion, fashion. Just full transparency here I'm not being paid to do any of this so let's go ahead and get started let's do this torture for myself let's do it let's, let's go guys so the first scarf that we're gonna test is the Nike hijab the Nike hijab launched in December of 2017 it was highly anticipated we got some big names wearing it like Ibtihaj Muhammad I'll test it out and tell you guys what I really think honest review about this one um, I feel like it's constricting my face but like when I pulled it back while I was running it still kind of shrinks in so comfort wise I don't really I don't really like this one I could be wearing a size too small this is an extra small slash small so the price was $35 so I'd give that a C uh, for average I guess for this type of um, athletic scarf uh, for modesty I would give it an A it definitely is full coverage and functionality I would give it like a C minus just solely because of the squishing of the face it's pretty breathable and everything even though it's full coverage which I like um so aesthetics I would also give it a C because I think it's based on your taste like the lady in the picture looks really badass honestly when I look at myself I don't feel like I look that great it reminds me of Tazzy from the second grade so I don't know how I feel about fashion wise I think some people can pull it off all right so the next scarf that we're gonna try out is this scarf from Walmart that I got a long time ago as you can probably see it's really used up I used to tie it in a bun a lot so that's gonna be how I'm gonna do the test let's try All right, so for this scarf, um, I would say that, you know, I've always experienced that when I'm running for a long time or if I'm doing something like jump rope, where it's kind of high intensity, it does, the bun tends to fall off or it tends to shift a lot or move back. So that's one thing that I don't like about bun or turban styles usually. As far as price goes, I'm pretty sure I paid around five to $7 for this. So I would give it an A plus for price. Uh, in terms of modesty, I think that really depends. So it could be an A, or a DF for you, depending on what your level of modesty is. So, you know, you could tie this full coverage or you could do something like I'm doing. As far as functionality goes, I would say, I would probably give it a C. I think it's average. I don't think it's a perfect product, but I also think it's breathable, it's light. This is one of my favorite styles. Of course, style depends on every individual, but for me, uh, this is one of the styles that I find more fashionable, I guess. So I would give it probably like a B, a B plus in terms of aesthetics. So this next one that I'm trying out is by a brand that sent me this. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce them. It's Thaura, Thaure, Thaure, I don't know, whatever. So this is one of the styles. You can actually wear this two ways. I'm trying out the turban style specifically for you guys because I always wanted to see if there were fitness turbans out there. I will say this before we begin. It's extremely difficult to put this on. I don't like it in terms of that, but I'll test it out and I'll let you guys know what I think of it otherwise. All right, here we go.
All right, so my honest review of this one, uh, not my favorite, just cause I felt it fl slipping back even when I was just doing sit-ups. I like the idea of it. I just think there could be a lot of improvement on the actual design. It also feels bulky and tighter on my head. I am wearing a clip um, and have my hair tied in a bun, but I think the concept is cool. It's just really difficult to put it on. It's not sticking and performing the way I'd like it to. The other way to actually wear the same style that I'm not gonna be testing out is to go like this and then just pulling this over your head like so so you get full coverage but yeah i'm not including that in today's video so this is a canadian brand um i think their price is great so their price is actually 29 dollars and 40 cents canadian which comes out to 21.94 in us dollars i think that's a steal like amazing for an independent brand and everything i'd give them an a plus plus on price in terms of modesty again it goes from anywhere from an a to a d whatever depending on what your level is aesthetics wise i would give it a d just because i didn't like the way the turban looked on my head shape i didn't i didn't like how it suited me so i'm gonna actually disagree with my rating here just because when I was watching the footage, I actually liked the way that it looked. So I would actually give it B for aesthetics. In terms of functionality, I'd probably give it uh, not a good grade. Maybe like a C or probably, no, C minus, D, something like that. Sorry, just because of, yeah. All right, so this next scarf is from the same brand, but this one is called the Free Wrap. So I'm wearing this, um, it's great clingy material. It feels like it's sticking to my head. I'm not wearing underpiece. So let's go ahead and train out. For this one, the price is the same as the other one, so I would still give it an A+. Um, I think in terms of functionality, it definitely stayed on better than the other one, but it's pretty comfortable, so I would give it probably like a B in terms of functionality, because um, I think it also depends how you tie it. The only complaint I might have is that maybe on a hot day, this might be a little bit suffocating, but it's not too hot right now, so I can't really tell you for sure. In terms of modesty, I would give it an A. It's definitely full coverage. Aesthetics wise, I would give it a B or a C. I think it's pretty average. It's just like a regular scarf. It's nothing too, you know, stylish or anything like that. I think it's pretty, um, pretty average. So. So this last one that we're gonna do is this beanie that I always wear when I work out. Um, so I just wanted to review this last one for you guys. I'll tell you the details on it. Uh, it is from Target. I think it was like 10 to 12 bucks. So it's pretty cheap, but it's been my go-to thing. So I use the beanie all the time, so uh, this is not a fresh review per se, uh, but as I mentioned before, I think the price was about 10 to $12 for the beanie, so I would give that an A plus in terms of price. Uh, for modesty, I would give it a C. It still moves back, which I think is one of the big problems about fitness scarves. Um, when I was jump roping, it moves back. Usually when I have my headphones in, uh, they kind of secure it, so I don't have to worry about that, but because today I didn't, it was uh, not performing as well as usual. So functionality, I would give it a B plus or an A just because it's my favorite. Uh, in terms of aesthetics, I'm gonna be real brutal. I'm gonna give it an F. I think it is the ugliest thing ever. It, because it works so well for me, I like to wear it. I wouldn't say I would wear an F grade covering for anything. But yeah, I don't think uh, style-wise it's the best looking. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so to conclude this whole thing, um, it was really cool to test all these out. I hope this was helpful. I would say, you know, my favorite is probably the beanie. I think the Nike hijab was a really cool thing to try out today. I enjoyed trying that one out. I think if the turban was adjusted a little bit, I think that would be my preferred style if there were some stylistic changes and, 
and as uh, functionality stuff that was adjusted as well I think that would be something that I'd prefer um, but yeah I hope this review helps you guys if you guys like this kind of content let me know down below like comment subscribe and yeah that's pretty much it thank you to my camera woman Tazzy Faye out bye